ठीक लास्ट लास्ट क्लास में वेट डिट बी स्टॉप You already taken one lecture, so we'll be going ahead, right? So last class I think these two were there. So uh, they are from just uh, your school. Why they haven't come today? Okay. So can I proceed with the uh, covered portion beyond that? Right. Okay. okay. We had started with measurements and experimentation. I'll just mention what we have finished. Hey, welcome. You can take the attendance. Yes, yes. Now the class is complete. So you have to tell me where did uh, I stop in the last time? So time. So I think what we had covered. Let me discuss that. We had uh, defined what is measurement and unit. And unit. We had defined it. Then we had discussed about the uh, difference between fundamental and derived units. Derived units. Uh, we had covered this fundamental and derived units. Fundamentals are independent, derived are dependent on fundamental. Right. And we had discussed about what are the quantities. Yes. And we have yes. less mass. Okay. So, and we had also discussed about system of units, right? Yes. We have done units of n units of time. Ah, but now we will do some more units of them. So system of units we did uh, three types of units. Do you remember what are they? CGS, MPS. You can change the order at yeah. You can this we did. Then uh, we had also discussed about how the units will be chosen, choice of units. Did you do this? Yes, the choice of the unit guidelines for it. Correct. We did that also. Okay, so children, these topics we have covered. So there will be a video lecture available of the first lecture. You can just go through it. Now, any doubts, you can ask me that. Then, uh, did we define what is one meter, what is one second, what is... Uh, so, what, uh, one meter, right? Unit of length. Yes, so we have done that the light travels. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. 1 upon 2, 9, 9, 7, 9, 2, 4, 5. Correct. So I said you do need not remember it. Yeah. Okay. So unit of length means what is it? Then we have already discussed unit of mass. Mass constant. Means this is the standard. And what is unit of time? If there is a long. Yes, very long one. Length is 1 meter. And one kilogram, one second. And one second. So, just for you, is it started in your schools? Yes, sir. This chapter has it been defined also? Uh, no, sir. Not no, mama, sir. not reached yet. Not, yes. not for you. You go. You for you. Achha, then how it is different? Your sir, actually, the sections are different. Other sections are cool listing. So, everybody has your textbook yes. or volumes. Now you can see. What is defined for a meter, right? So what is one meter? That definition is one over meter. here. 
One meter was redefined in terms of speed of light. So according to which one meter is a distance traveled by light in this small duration of a second. One by two nine nine. Three hundred. Three hundred million. It is almost three hundred million. Okay. So, such a small duration of second, whatever distance the light travels is defined as a meter. Okay. So, because when you say 5 meter, 6 meter, you need to know what is a meter. Then you can compare with that meter. So, that meter is this. But you need not memorize it. It is difficult for anybody to memorize it. Not expected also. Now, let's, uh, likewise, you have a mass. Right. Now, what is a mass? Mass, we had a platinum uh, iridium, iridium, yes. iridium no. dot uh, which platinum, was platinum, platinum, iridium, which was created in Paris and yes. it was distributed to every part of every the part of every country. So it was cloned. So in old days, it was platinum iridium. So for meter, also there was a platinum iridium rod. Okay, and here it was a platinum iridium cylinder. <laughs> So this they called 1 kg and they cloned it and gave it to every country. And every country had a Bureau, Bureau of Weights and Measures. They will clone it further and then give it to all the parts of this. All the businesses and whosoever is using all this. Okay. Then likewise for time, what was one second? So it was 1 divided by 86400 part of a solar day. In old times, these are the old times. In old times, units were defined like this. Okay, part of a solar day. But now we have it in terms of atomic clock. Huh? So now one second is in terms of cesium. 133. Cesium. Uh, 133. Based. Atomic clock. So today the unit of one second is as per so many periods of cesium atom radiation. Okay. So that's this definition. One second is the time interval of blah, 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 vibration of radiation corresponding to the trans transition between two unperturbed ground state hyperfine levels of cesium. Now you will not understand it because this theory is not yet taught to you. So just read it once. And uh, Forget about it. Okay. So now what you have to remember, we are going to start now. Okay. All right. So some other units of length. So having understood what is a meter, now you have this table, deci and deca. Okay, now deci are smaller units, right? So what is this? This these two tables. So you have deca, huh? bigger measure. Bigger measurement. So deca is what? Ten meter. Ten meter is one decameter. Then hecto. So it is hundred. So the power power will increase, and that's how the prefix will increase. So prefix means before meter. So you had one meter. Now you have one decameter. What is the symbol? T decameter. This is how you write. So one decameter is equal to 10 raised to 1 meter. Like that. Okay. Similarly, hecto is 1 hectometer is 10 raised to 2 meter, 100. Like one. And what about 1 meter? 1 meter is 10 raised to 0 meter because anything raised to 0 is 1 part. Any number to the power zero is one. Okay, this is this is how you get into bigger units. Then you have smaller units. Okay, one more bigger unit we take. Let's say one kilometer. So kilo is and this is three. Okay. So so on and so forth. You have so many other things, right? So like last one is yotta. Yotta is ten raised to twenty four meter. Okay, these are bigger units of length. So bigger units, then smaller units, 
decimeter. Decimeter and all that. So let's say you had one decimeter. Now, what is the symbol for decimeter? Just d. So one decimeter. This is equal to now 10 raised to minus 1. What is it? It means 110. Okay, so here it was multiplied in numerator. Now, in this case, what is the next one? Centimeter. This is 10 raised to minus 2, which is 100 over theta. This is how you get a smaller one. Right? Then you will have millimeter. So one millimeter and this to minus three meter since by one thousand part of the okay, like this. So even smaller is so more popular smaller units are like micrometer or micro. What is it? Micro micro. This will this will be ten to minus six. Divided by one million. Sorry. Yes. Six is minus. So nano is ten raised to minus nine. Ten raised to minus nine. Okay. Likewise, you have one angstrom. This is ten raised to minus ten. These are all smaller units. So what? What do you call it? Micro. Nano, angstrom. So it's all given in this table. Okay. Table and some further explanation. Then these are all in the powers of 10. So everything in the power of 10 is decimal system or metric system. Now there are certain non metric units of length. So what are non metric units? So you have light years, astronomical unit, parsec, okay? So let us understand those. So non metrics are like popular units, but they are not SI units, okay? Popular but not SI. So you have uh, bigger units of time. So first is in this year uh, A A U. This is astronomical unit. What is it? Astronomical. Astronomical. Now, what is this astronomical unit length equal to? It is the length between Earth and Sun. Okay. So it is basically average distance. Between Earth and Sun. Why are we calling average distance? Because what happens? Uh, let us say you have sun and earth revolves around sun in elliptical orbit. So let's say you have this is earth. Now this distance, okay, it keeps changing when the depending upon different positions of earth. You see? Yes. So you take average of all these distances. That's a D1, D2, D3. So when you take average of all the distances, so that is astronomical. And it comes to how much? There is a value for it. This is about uh, 1.496 into 10 raised to 11. So one astronomical unit is equal to 1.496 to 10 raised to 11 meters. It's a very large distance. Okay. 
second is so average is also called mean in your book average or mean it's one and the same thing so you know how to calculate the mean so d1 plus d2 plus d n values divided by n so this is one mean equal to this okay. next is light year The symbol for light year is small l y. Okay. Now, what is a light year? The distance traveled by light in one year. Yes, very good. So, it is the distance traveled by light. in one year okay so it is a unit of length what is a year year is a unit of time time that is light year is the unit of length length this is the difference children make a mistake sometimes this question is also asked light is year is a unit of uh, time true or false Right, because year is the unit of time, not light year. So, how much it will therefore one light year will be what? How do you calculate distance? You know that uh, speed is equal to distance upon time. This gives you distance is equal to speed into time. Time. Okay. So, one light year is so this speed is speed of light. What is speed of light? 3 into n is to 8 meter per second into time is 1 year. So, in 1 year, you have how many days? 365. In 1 day, you have how many hours? 24 hours. In 1 hour, you have how many minutes? 60 minutes. And then you have 60 seconds. Because, so in 1 light year, so this will be meter per second into second, these many, these many meters. This distance is one light year. So when you calculate it, your value will come to be about 9.46. 10 raised to 12, uh, 10 raised to 15 meter. So don't try it into kilometer and all. Just keep everything into meter. So you may have to remember these values sometimes, you know, in school. They will ask you what is one light year and what is. So you should know how to calculate. Light year can be calculated. If you don't remember, you can calculate. But this you can remember one roughly 1.5 into 10 raised to 11. Okay, 1.5 into 10 raised to 11, roughly. Okay, so we have covered this. Then the third one is parsec. Okay, there are some more values you can uh, just go through the table, right? Uh, yes. You have a table in your book. You can just go through that. Okay. Next is parsing. What is parsing? So this is another uh, bigger unit of length. Suppose you write till here. Have you written? Yes. Now. Uh, understand carefully what is a parsec. Before that, you have to understand what is angle. How is angle measured? Degrees, right? So, so angle is measured at, in degree, right? So one degree, that is, how it is written? One degree, like this. It is made up of how many minutes? Sixty minutes, right? So, 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. Right? So, what is 1 minute equal to? 60 minutes. 1 by 60 degrees. So, when you divide 1 degree into 60 parts, 1 degree is so small to look at your protector. So, if you make 60 parts of that, one part is 1 minute. 
and how much is one minute? So uh, so one minute. It is written as one minute. Like degree is written like this. One minute is written like this. Is equal to sixty seconds. Okay. So so sixty parts. Then one part is one minute. Make another sixty part of it. Okay. So this means therefore one second is equal to one minute divided by sixty. And then this is equal to one degree. What is one minute? So sixty part into sixty like this. When you take one divided by thirty-six of a degree, you make three thousand six hundred parts of one degree. That one part is called one second. So it's a very small angle. Is this clear? Then what is a parsec? Now understand. So let's say this is your sun's position. And this is our position, right? So then, and let us say this is the average distance between sun and earth. Okay. So we also call it semi-major axis because in ellipse, let's say this was an ellipse. So ellipse may. There are two axes, major and minor. Okay. So, uh, so these are the distant distant points and then the nearest points. Okay. So this is called minor axis and this is called major axis. So two major and two minor axis. Okay. So from this, now imagine. Now see, if you have a circle, right? A small circle, right? Then a bigger circle and a bigger circle. Okay. Now look here. If an angle is made on this, right? Same angle on a smaller circle, it looks like a curved, curved path. Yes. But as the circle increases in diameter, this straightens. So if you have a very giant circle, this this line will be almost a straight line. Okay. So even for this circle, if you reduce the angle, it will become a straight line, isn't it? Yes. For a smaller angle, the two points on the circle become straight line. So if we take this straight line as part of a very giant circle. Okay, then wherever this giant circle makes an angle equal to this angle is one second. So when this radius is very large, okay, so at a very far away distance, it will make one second. So then this radius, this distance is called one pass. Got it? So one parsec is the distance where this one astronomical unit subtends an angle of one second. Okay. So I am not going into the calculation, but after the calculation, because that you need to know the knowledge of degree and radius conversion. So that will be taught to you. Right now, it is not taught to you. So these calculation, and there is one more relation. Angle is equal to arc upon radius. Okay. So this is the radius of that giant circle of which this arc becomes straight line. Okay. So so our parsec is basically this distance radius. Therefore, radius is equal to. Arc upon angle A. Right. Now, what is our arc? One astronomical unit. Arc is one astronomical unit. And what is the angle? One second. So, when you convert this second into radian and 
put the meter value of astronomical unit. That's what they have done. So arc length is one astronomical unit, which is one point four nine six. Okay, and one second in radian will be one by thirty six hundred into pi by one eighty. So assume that you know this. Right now, you are not. You will not understand because it is not taught to you in mathematics. But it will come. So then, what you will get? You will get a value of one parsec equal to three point zero eight to ten raised to sixteen. So one parsec is this many. So is it a bigger unit, bigger length? Doctor. Astronomical unit was only yes. of the order of 10 raised to 11. Then light year was even bigger. Distance travel by light in one year. Parsec is even bigger. Justified because if you have to get very small angle, so it will only happen at a very far away distance. So how it could be calculated at that time? Which time? Uh, it was calculated at a very old time, right? Parsec? Yeah. No, it's like our science, what we study today is developed in last 200, the modern science that we talk about. So how it could be calculated so long? For that, like we had a very developed astronomical science in India. So they have those calculations. So you have to refer to uh, Vedic astro uh, astronomy. You will get that. So they have their basis, right? Likewise, these values are told to you to make you familiar about these distances. Now we don't use it in our daily life. Yes. Daily life, we deal with meters, micro, etc. Right? But these are uh, required only when you are studying astronomy. Only with them. So these are for advanced sciences. But we are introducing these terms to you to enrich your vocabulary right now. So that later on you make sense out of it. Okay. So this is one parsec. So how much is that? 3.08 into 10 raised to 16. So right now you just for comparison sake. So it's like so you it's like 10 times a light year, right? Light year is almost 10 to the power four times this, 10,000 times this, and this is like 10 times of light year. Okay, so you can imagine. So this is just for you to get the perspective. Is it clear? Yes. So, the description given in the book about is one parsec is the distance from where the semi major axis of our orbit of Earth subtends an angle of one second. So, this distance is one parsec. Okay. So, this formula you need to know to calculate, but that's not taught to you yet. Relation between angle arc and radius of a circle. So you can write this down. You're using this, then you can get this calculation which is given. In your book, it starts from here. Now it can from here. Okay, Angstrom we already discussed. Then Fermi is like 10 raised to minus 15. So you can just refer to this table. Now see, you should be able to understand all this. Okay, you have the table? Yes. Why don't you sit with him? Uh, two of you share this book. Because in volume, these tables may not be there. All of you are using Selena, right? Yes. Uh, so Selena, all the blue tables you just go through. All the blue tables, right? So one more. So bigger units we have covered. Let's look into smaller ones. So, micro, did we cover micro? 
So there are only two mentioned here, Engstrom. Engstrom we already covered, Engstrom. And the Engstrom is all written like this, A, you know? So degree, that O is written little side, but this is on top. One Engstrom, this is equal to 10 raised to minus 10 meter. Then, uh, the one Fermi. This one small f, right? One Fermi. And this is equal to 10 raised to minus 15. So, uh, this is the unit of wavelength of light. Like, wavelength of light is expressed in angstrom. And these are the distances within the atom. Okay, very small, nuclear radius and all that. The size of the nucleus is of the order of Fermi. So in atomic world, we use these units. Okay. So both the smaller and bigger units are summarized in this table. Okay. With this, we are through with the length units. Now, Units of mass. Now that we have understood units of length, same thing with mass. Okay. Right. So, what was the main uh, unit of mass? Kilogram. Kilo, one kilogram, right? Kilogram. Okay, then you have graph. So smaller units make a or bigger units make a So let's go for bigger units first. So there is something called as a quintal. Right? Yes. What is a quintal? Hundred kilogram. So, what is, uh, what, one quintal is equal to 100 kilograms. Okay. Then you have ton, which is 1000 kilograms. Okay. Then solar mass, mass of the sun. How much is that? 2 into 10 raised to 30 kg. This is a very big unit of mass, right? And what are the smaller units of mass? Ah. Ah. So, 1 gram. That is 1G. How much is 1 gram? Uh, it is 1000th part of a kilogram. When you divide kilogram into 1000 parts, one part is 1 gram. Okay? Then you have milligram. Now what is a milligram? That is one three seven G. Now this is one divided by so ten raised to minus three of a gram it is. Any ten raised to minus three of a gram, and this is equal to ten raised to minus six of kilogram. Well, one millionth part of a kilogram, or one thousandth part of a gram. Okay, so in medicine, pharma <laughs> pharmaceutical sport. So these small milligram and all, you know, it's, that's the unit. Okay. Then you have uh, one U or one AMU. Atomic mass. Atomic mass. Okay. Do you know how much is that? It is equal to 1.6. 1.6. 
Yes, 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. Okay, that's what is. So atoms are not measured in kilograms. They are measured in AMU because kilogram is a very big unit for that. And how much is one unit or AMU? How it is defined? It is actually equal to one twelfth of the carbon. Uh, mass of C12 atom. One twelfth of the mass of C12 atom. This is the most abundant isotope of carbon. Carbon have two isotopes. C14, C12. So this is the most abundant form of carbon in nature. Therefore, we take one twelfth of mass of one carbon atom. And how to find mass of one carbon atom? For that, you need the concept of mole, amount of substance. Remember? Yes. Uh, so, what is the relation between the mole and the weight of atom or mass of atom? C. You will learn this one mole of any substance. Okay? One mole of any substance or any element. Any substance. Its mass, its atomic mass in gram. This is the law. If you take one mole of any element, its mass will be equal to its atomic mass in gram. And what is atomic mass? So what is atomic mass of C12 atom? 12. Okay. So, one mole of carbon atom will weigh 12 gram. Is the rule. But that is one mole. And in one mole, how many atoms are there? 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. So, that is because one mole kya hota hai? 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of C12 base 12 gram. This is what it means. Chicken? So therefore, one C atom will weigh how much? 12 gram divided by 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. This is how this calculation. So 1 by 12 into 1 divided by 6.2. Now, and gram is how much? 10 raised to minus 3 kg. So that also, so gram can be converted. So one mole is either 12 gram or 12 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg. That's how you get this calculation. Okay. Next. So we are done with the mass unit. Now, let's discuss the time units. So time, SI unit is second. Time. So, you are noting it down, note till here, and I'll discuss time units. Yes. Completed? Okay. So, time unit, uh, the basic SI unit you have learned is one second, right? Now, what are the non metric units of time? So, first, let us cover the smaller units. So, smaller units is one millisecond, smaller units. Uh, eight second. There, all, there must be a table. You see, bigger. so bigger and only, bigger. only for bigger units. Okay. Smaller units also you have like one millisecond. So millisecond will be how much? Ten raised to minus three second. One thousand part of a second. Then you have one microsecond. Microsecond is how much? One millionth part of a second. 1 divided by 10 lakhs. Then what do you have? 1 nanosecond. This is how much? 
10 raised to minus 9 seconds. So these three are the prefixes that you might be using, right? Yes. Then there is one shape. Uh, this is not a very used unit of time. And this is given as 10 raised to minus 8 seconds. One, but the one hundredth of a microsecond is called one shake. I don't know if this shake is into shaking a bottle, so that okay. So that is one shake. Okay. Yeah. This is nanosecond, micro, nano, and shake. So this is me. Let's look at the uh, bigger units of time. What are the bigger units? Thank so, uh, minute, hour, day, lunar month, month, year, leap year, decade, century, millennium. Okay. So, what is a minute? So, I'll say minute. This is nothing but 60 seconds. How much is hour? Hour is written as edge. In one hour, you have 60 minutes. So this will be 60 into 60. 3600 seconds. Right? Right? Then you have day. So one day. Yes. This has 24 hours. So this is 24 into 3600. 8486 for 86 for seconds. This is what right. Likewise, you have month year. So now what I will give you is one month is equal to 30 days. And just multiply with. 86400, you'll get the answer. Okay, so we will restrict two days because now you know what is a day. And one year, 365 days. Okay, then. Uh, one, it's okay. Now, now you can calculate that one. Now, one, what is one ticket? 10 years. Okay, then one century is 100 years. One millennia is the day here. It's equal to how much? 1000 years. Okay. Then uh, there is something called as lunar month. Leap year. Oh, leap year is different. And a leap year. That's how the studies. So, what is a lunar month? Lunar month is based on the phases of the moon. Okay, uh, that is lunar. So, like there are like 15 days when the moon is bright and 15 days when it is. We in Hindi we say Krishna Paksha and Shukla Paksha. So, the month is completed in about 29.5 days as, as per Hindu calendar, which is called Vikram Sambhat or and Shak Sambhat. It's all given. Okay. And Muslims follow what is called as Hijri, H H I Z R I. But all these data is as per Gregorian, the English calendar, which is okay, Gregorian. So as per lunar month, we have 10 days short in our year. 10 days short of the year as compared to. Gregorian calendar. Gregorian year. 
The calendar that the whole world follows today is called Gregorian calendar, which has 365 days in a year, right? But when the month is based on the phases of moon, total month is based on phases of moon. As for this, month is eight lunar month. Leap year is still with Gregorian concept. Leap year is that year in which the month of February has 29 days. Okay. Year with month February having 29 days. Okay. So every four year we get a leap year. Is it anyone born on a on 29th? Well, okay. Sir, then he will celebrate his birthday every four years. Yes, anyway. What is there to be celebrated in a birthday? Huh? In a popular a populated country like India, is it an event to be celebrated even? I mean, that's what I feel. We are too many already. If we motivate others, they will go for more kids. <laughs> okay, anyway. Just kidding. So, here with uh, month February, having 29 days, this part is a sort of evening. It comes. Once, three, four years. All right, so with this, uh, we are done with all the units of length, mass, and time. Right? Then we already covered the guidelines for unit and all. Okay? The full form of the unit should be written in small letters. Okay, when the unit is written as capital in simple, uh, only when it is the name of the scientist and only first letter of his initial. Okay, first, and how do we write the derived units? Each, either a point or a space. The different units are written either after a point or a space. Okay, so derived units. You have to read and ask questions what it is. Okay. So we are done with unit A of measurement. Now, shall we start with unit B or you want me to take numericals from unit one? Numericals. Numericals. Okay. So I'll do three numericals, right? Rest you can try. So. So if you look in the textbook, the first numerical is the wavelength of a light of a particular color is 5800 angstrom. Numerical one. The wavelength symbol is this. This is called lambda. It's a Greek letter lambda. The symbol for wavelength. So light is a wave and every wave is characterized with its wavelength, okay? So wavelength is given as 5800 angstrom. Just to give you an idea, if this is a wave, okay? What is a wavelength? This one side, distance traveled by light during one side. Okay, this is what a wave. Yes. So, this is given to you. Express it in nanometer and meter, right? So, first you have to express it 
dynamometer. So, since lambda is equal to 5800 angstrom, so in meter first you express it. So, this is 5800 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter. Right? Yes. So, nanometer is almost 10 raised to minus 9. So this is 5800 into 10 raised to minus 1 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter. Can I write it like this? Yes. So, this is nothing but nanometer. So, this is 10 raised to minus 1, 1, 0 cancelled. 580 nanometer. So, nowadays, Armstrong is not used, right? It is. Invariably depends on the question. Uh, Standard okay. practice is in nanometer. Yeah, that is written in a textbook that Armstrong is not outdated and instead of it is uh, uh, nanometer. Is yeah, I mean, it's fashion, right? I mean, so right now we express wavelengths in nanometer. nanometer. Because this this is direct comparison. Even Armstrong is used, you will understand. Okay. Huh? So different books where different different things you will come across. So this is nanometer, and in meter we already expressed here. So lambda is equal to the question should have been expressed it in meter and then nanometer because to get to nanometer first you have to write in meter. Okay, so this is equal to fifteen hundred into ten raised to minus 10 meter, right? So, in meter, basically what you have to do is, you don't leave it like this. So, we generally express it like this, 5.8 and 3 zeros gone, so 10 raised to minus 7, right? Okay, what is the answer? That's the answer, 5.8, you know, 3 zeros gone here. So, three zeros reduced means it has consumed 1000. Okay, so pure mathematics. Size of the bacteria. Wow, now the second question. Second numerical is the size of the bacteria is. Given size of bacteria is equal to one micrometer or one micron. Okay, find the number of bacteria in one meter length. So, this is one micrometer, right? Yes. So, one micrometer is how much? That is. 1 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter. This is the size of one bacteria. So, how many bacteria is in 1 meter? So, solution. What is given? Given is since 10 raised to minus 6 meter is equal to corresponds to one bacteria. Isn't it? Yes. Therefore, one meter will correspond to one divided by 10 raised to minus 6 bacteria. Yes. yes. So, how much is this? 10 raised to 6. So, 1 million bacteria. Yes. That's a pure unitary method. Just a play of, you know, given data. Does it make sense to just read what is the question and how we have solved it? In question, size of one bacteria is given as one micrometer, which is nothing but one into ten raised to minus six meter. That is ten raised to minus six meter. So if you write it in other way, ten raised to six minus six meter. Means one bacteria. Therefore, one meter will be one divided by ten. Directly, yes. Cross multiplication. Therefore, this is when you take it out, one meter. 
Now the last question, which one you want me to do? Three, four, five, six, any one I will do. So seven. Seven. Read the question. The distance of a star from the earth is 8.33 light minutes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by this statement? Explicit distance in meters. Okay. So it is light minutes. Yes. Which means distance traveled by light in one minute, not one year. Okay. So, uh, so what was the question? 8.33 light minutes. Mm. So, uh, so 8.33 times distance traveled by the light in one minute. Okay. This is what it means. What do you mean by this statement? It means the distance of the star from the earth is 8.33 times the distance traveled by light in one minute. This is the first answer. Express the distance in meter. So 8.33 light minutes. Nine minutes. 8.33. Now the same logic. What is the speed of light? Uh, three is eight meter per second, right? Yes. So in one minute, how many seconds? Sixty. That's it. Speed of light into time in second. That's it. So only sixty. This is what it is. Okay. Yes. Is it true? Is it true? Uh, 1.5 to 10 excuse me. Calculate, see the answer. This is true, right? It's not one year, just one minute. One minute. So one minute has only 60 seconds. This is correct. So when you calculate it, you should get the answer. Which is so let's calculate. So six three is 18, 8 into uh, 6, 18 into 10 Figure it out. How much is that? 18 3 is 18. 18. 40. 40. Oh, somebody. How much is that? Do it. Do it. Do this calculation. So, okay, do it. 54. 54. 5. Again, 54. Plus 5. 59. 5 carat. 18 years up? Same. Plus 5 is? 1. 49. Is this correct? 1.5 into 10 is 1.4994 into this two zeros will be released, right? Yes. So 10 raised to 10. So is it 1.5 into 10 raised to 10? 10 is to 11. Where are we going to come? This is going two zeros only. Huh? So just check the calculation. We'll get it. You'll get it right. Okay. So take it as a homework. Okay. Sure. We'll see you in the next class. Next chapter is very important. Vernier calipers and screw gauge. Thank you. Thank you.